Tonight, commuters in a crunch after a fiery crash that collapsed a critical section of I-95 in Philadelphia. Now the control here. You know? Thick plumes of smoke emanating from an accident involving a tanker below that authorities say was carrying 8,500 gallons of gasoline Sunday morning. What can you tell us about the circumstances leading up to the vehicle fire? The tractor and trailer uh, were, were trying to navigate the curve, lost control of the vehicle, uh, uh, landed on its side and ruptured the tank and ignited the fire. The commercial truck crushed by the collapse. And tonight, Pennsylvania State Police confirming a body was recovered from the wreckage. And you can see just how massive of an undertaking the rebuilding process will be. Crews right now clearing out 500 tons of debris. I-95 is the East Coast's main highway, stretching from Florida to Maine. And this section typically sees 160,000 vehicles a day. Now severed, the Transportation Secretary warns both commuters and the supply chain will feel the impact. This is going to be a major disruption in that region, and it's really going to affect the whole Northeast. All right, pulling up where 95 is closed now. Standstill traffic snaking along I-95 as drivers brace for longer commutes and the interstate closure funnels people onto local roads. This is a way that I would never take to work under normal circumstances. The devastation is reminiscent of an interstate failure from a fire in Atlanta back in 2017, worsening the gridlock for weeks. Steel girders supporting overpasses like the one in Philadelphia can become vulnerable when exposed to flames. According to engineering experts, steel loses about 20% of its strength at 750 degrees and half of its strength at 1,000. If you heat up the, the structural material, uh, you know, it gradually it softens, it loses the ability to carry the weight that was above it. And uh, as a result, uh, you know, we can have damage to the bridge and in extreme cases, you can, can have full collapse. All right, Emily Aketa joining us now from the Philadelphia crash site. Emily, officials say before the crash, the overpass was sound. Lester, that's right. This roadway was part of a $212 million reconstruction project that was just finished five years ago. And now crews will have to rebuild the north and southbound lanes, which you can see behind me. And it could be a matter of weeks, if not months. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.